right, YouTube, let's get started today, shall we? So, another game of League. Another game where I can't figure out which which button is my button. There we go. Alright, so on the bright side, our Nasus has politely told us what he wants to do today. Luckily for him, I fully agree with him. Oh, uh, hey, look, our, Lux, our Kate wasn't paying attention. Please don't fight that. There's no way we win that. Like, the only way we win that is if Leona hits, like, the world's best E, and we just combo chain CC somebody to death. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we dropped any wards. See if we get us a free AD. Yay, free AD. Alright, so right off the bat, guys, we already got a better ward than anything we get with an early sweep, with an early um, yellow trinket. So we're going to start out as usual. We're going to go ahead and start bot, uh, bot lane and work our way up. And sorry about that. Sorry. I'm going to hit, you know, fat finger, guys, fat finger. Alright, so what we're going to do here, even though we're going to path towards top lane, our goal is we're not going to be helping top lane. So we need to acknowledge two things. Number one unless my TF has like a huge amount of priority, there's no way I'm going to have the early fight. So what we're going to do is just kind of go for a full clear. We have the better late game, like mid game, like we don't have to get to late game, just get to mid game and we just win every fight. Mid game is where we're at. Bot lane should win as long as Leona doesn't get too far poked out, which unfortunately looks like she is getting poked out. So our main job is to kind of set the camps spawning on the bot side so that way we can start playing towards there as soon as possible oh dear all right all right unfortunately it looks like the first thing that happens is Graves gets a level two cheese on them these things happen guys so you know what, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do all right so Renekton already dropped a nice dank ward for us so we're gonna make sure we, we're gonna take that when we have the opportunity so one thing we need to be careful of is Graves does have red buff over us. That's something we need to acknowledge. So what we're going to do is make sure that we don't fight him too deep in his own jungle. Now, looking at his pathing, he's naturally going to likely go Raptor camp and then Wolf camp. Not really, ha He doesn't really have an incentive to go topside just yet. Alright, Renekton's heading a little bit too far to the south for my liking, so what I'm going to do is just stun him like that. I don't think he realizes I absolutely beat his ass in a, level, in a 1v1. Oh, unless I eat Ignite and a... Oh, come on. If he just didn't punk out... Just one auto attack by him and we actually get that. Please... Shut up, hold on, let me, uh, let me meet stupid. There we go. Didn't even see the obvious play. Literally, even with me being as oom as I was, the main problem there is Renekton got a full good rotation from his teammates. Graves gets a full good rotation, and, you know, I, I get, I get that. I get, um, half, half-baked efforts from the entire, from, uh, top lane. This is kind of the problem with picking Nasus and not having, like, you know, a brain with it. You just, unfortunately, Nasus is, yes, he has less pr pressure, but literally all he had to do is just appear in that team fight, and he was successful. Case in point, I'm going to gank him right now, and all he needs to do is wither. He doesn't have to do anything else, just wither. Oh, look at that. Literally. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, of course he's bot lane again. It's almost like you guys don't have wards. So where else is it going to go? Alright, so what we want to do here is we're going to work our way toward bot lane. And the build I'm going to be going today, guys, is a little bit of a little bit of a build I'm thinking of. So we're going to do just, just a little bit something interesting. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. We're still keeping up on farm, and that's all we really need. We do have an Infernal Dragon on the map, so we could definitely look to make something there. Like, our bot lane needs to understand that they don't need a win laning phase. They just need to survive it. As long as they survive it, we, we outscale them pretty bad. Alright. Alright, there we go. We already got...
already got bot lane complaining. Good. Love it. And we're just gonna go ahead and regain him again. Like, literally, this is all we gotta do. Oh, my. Okay, he has CP. Alright, he's gonna go ahead and ward that. I just need to... All I need to do here, guys, is watch the lane. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch for his E. Alright, that's his E. Now, his E has a pretty long-ass cooldown. So, if Nasus, all he has to do is just land that wither. And then I come in. There we go. And then we push this to win. Because it is going to push. And just like that, guys, we were able to go ahead and force a good gank, even though it was warded. And since we know it's warded, guess what that means, guys? Free ward for us. And even though... Oh, good. The TF goes ahead and makes a good counterplay. But bot lane still gets pushed out. Unfortunate. Still too pushed. Still getting caught. Unfortunately, they stay too long. And now they die to the Velkaz counter gank. So, yeah. Unfortunately... And there we go with, um, of course, Botley needs to start all chatting to the enemy to tell them, hey, by the way, what you're doing is working. We're getting tilted because you're constantly camping us. So, what's Gray is going to do? He's going to continue camping. I can't, I can't do anything about that dragon. That, um, uh, that, uh, dragon. Unfortunate. We, we win this, by the way, if Leona just grows a pair. There we go. See, all we need to do. Change CC, work it out. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get a Blade of the Ruin King. I know that looks a little bit strange, but that's going to be the next item in our build. Then we're going to get a Wit's End. So we're going to get the Cinder Hulk to give us some, some CC. Sorry, not some CC. Some HP, some a lot of resistance in the middle of a team fight, as well as the ability to go ahead and clear my jungle very efficiently. I'm going to go ahead and cake those two small wolves. It's better to do it at the beginning of a camp instead. Because then you start putting the uh, Talisman Burn on the small camps from your auto attack. I'm going to go ahead and auto attack the big one. Every Tiger Dot, we're going to put it on the big one and then spread out the rest. There we go. Decent enough. It is better when you have Cinder Hulk. Because at Cinder Hulk stage, it's going to actually melt them so fast. So damn fast. Alright. We're going to go ahead and start setting up for a top lane gank. If you guys have noticed, even though my Nasus has been a bit of a whiner, I'm still playing to him. Guys, understand that one of the biggest things about League of Legends is controlling your mental state. Even if someone's the biggest complaint in the world, if they're your win condition, play to them. So what we're going to do here, we're going to wait for these minions to go ahead and fall down. There we go. And then we're going to slip slide right on here. Now, we're going to ping that we want to do something. Convince their buddy, oh boy, oh chum, to uh, make a stay the hell up here. Alright. Uh, damn. He, he doesn't want to get out. There we go. There we are. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and hit, hit the rave camp. Let's sweep this, just in case. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pump this bot lane. Alright, Graves is giving up all that farm to uh, get first blood tower. That's perfectly fine. Guys, you have a feeding bot, that's fine. In exchange for a feeding bot, I have a, a fed Nasus. And I have a Renekton who's not going to scale. All of their damage that's fed right now is all AD. So what we'll be doing is just... You know, stacking up our natural defenses against that and ignoring it. Actually, if anything, if I really wanted to, I could go like Bramble Vest first, and I might be—I might actually do that. To stack up defenses, yeah, 
Let's do that. Instead of getting our Blaze Rune King first, since all their ADs was fed, we're gonna get a Bramble's Vest first. Really just kind of make me a non-desirable target for them to auto-attack. And take advantage of all the CS I have. So, my rune set is going to provide me all the damage I need. And I can start building it after I have everything else. Let's go ahead and grab Bramble's Vest. And let's grab the Claw Farmer. Sell this. And start working on our Blade of the Rune King. So, we do want to get our Ninja Tabbies as soon as possible. They have three auto attackers. And two of them are fed. So, we want to make sure we get that as soon as possible. Alright, so he has Murtress, so he has nothing to really reduce our damage. And when we fight anybody who's fed, we're just going to completely nullify their damage, laugh them off, and then proceed to beat them to death. So, you know, server lining, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can make a play mid. No, we cannot. Alright, I'm not really afraid of Velkos that much. But I do need to clear out some wards. I was going to put down a ward, but I do know he's down bot lane. All I need is my top lane to play this properly, and we get an objective. You don't need to, you don't need to do that. Did she just ult? Alright. Well, I'm going to finish the objective. I wish they... I really wish they didn't decide to pick a fight right when I'm doing something else. Hmm. Unfortunate. I really hate the fact that they chose to pick a fight right when I'm doing something else, but hey. I don't think that Caitlyn realizes that they, they still had Dragon Objective and an Inferno. That didn't suddenly just, you know, stop happening. Thank you for the present. So, so just like that, guys, um, Graves made it obvious what he was doing. He wasn't appearing on the map. He was playing bot side. I just made it play top side, so I was able to just run it down. Mountain Dragon taking one of the longest dragons to kill, and thanks to the Dragon Slayer debuff, Dragon actually gets slower. I mean, hey, my bot lane fed you kill, so there's always the silver lining. I just fed, I chose to get fed off of your top, and you chose to get fed off my bot. Unfortunately for you, your um, your bot's the same exact people you are. So we're gonna actually be able to go ahead and get both. What he actually should have been playing towards is his mid laner. Now, if he played towards his mid laner, I could, even if both of them get fed, there's nothing I can do. Because Velkaz does true damage. I go try to go uh, squishy, I get blown up. And if I try to build MR, he kills me. You know, one way or the other, I'm getting killed by somebody on their team. But with the way he played, I can just build to ignore one or two of the damages. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and ignore these camps, and we're going to go play a little bit more aggressively. And, yeah. And see, now now Caitlyn's taking her tail and literally transferring it to the graves. I mean, hey. I'm always going to be... I'm, I'm quite content with this. Uh-oh. Well, that was easy. I mean, honestly, if Kate just... There we go. I was like, if Kate just go all in right there, we're going to get burned something. They have nothing to really stop us right anymore. All right, let's go ahead and grab us another free ward. Now, here's another big thing that happens in lo low elo that is actually costing you guys games. It's this moment where everyone's in mid lane kind of dancing around, and these sideways are just loot, just like chunking out minion XP. Guys, especially if you're running Cinderhulk, make sure you come up here. Grab these waves. If your teammates aren't going to grab them, do them. I could have cost, I could have, yeah, I could have possibly taken that uh, blue buff, but it's so risky when instead I could just do that. Get some free XP, get a little bit of a wave, push it up. 
reorient myself to go ahead and grab this one. Oh, there we go. A little, good little patty cake, a little free AD. Burn some mana. And then we're going to go right back top and we're going to catch the next wave. Literally, guys, so much free XP is lost in side lanes. Just absolutely just chucked away. And after all, your allies are going to spend a partial of the mid game taking your XP. So make sure to just, you know, undo that. Uh, I, I really didn't want to commit. I really didn't want to commit like that. Wait, did I just... Ah, dang. Ah, dang it. I'll be honest, I thought I was walking away. Hey, lesson learned. Don't take your eyes off the prize, my friends. Do not take your eyes off the prize. All right. So right now, guys, here's another thing that's also losing you games besides, you know, taking your eyes off the minimap and what you're doing is trying to force a fight when you don't have a power spike. Right now, he has a Blade of the Ruined King. So while I have all of this, as you guys saw, look who did most of the damage to me. I only really got chunked out from Lux, and then Lucian, he's still pretty fed as just as much as I am. Go ahead. So right now, I have two objectives. Number one, make sure that I get my Blade of the Ruined King. Once I have that, then I'm set. So while she's taking my red buff, I'm going to go ahead and take this full wave for myself. And then what we want to do here, we have a Mountain Dragon, so we can threaten Baron. And with my build, I'm going this game. I can probably do it solo. So since I want to kind of consider that as an option, I need to make sure I'm doing a lot for myself to set that up. Two things. Number one, push and drag. We can't go top lane. You see how the Caitlyn started heading towards top lane? If you don't ping her that, hey, by the way, there's a more important thing happening on the map. She goes up top, and then they can the enemy team can force Dragon. Our top lane is going to push. Top will push. Take this slow. Hopefully, my teammates get the uh, the you know the memo. Top lane will push, costing them XP and all the other fun stuff. And look. We, w we lose this poke war really badly, I just realized. We don't. We need, just need to go all in. Oh, yeah, Leona just needs to go in. Leona literally just needs to go in. If she doesn't, we're never. We're gonna get poked down. Leona, baby girl, you, you just gotta go in. You need... Just one of you go in. You guys took five years to decide to go in. We needed to go in a lot sooner than that. You're our only form of engage. Just go in. Like, legit, just go in. Don't sit there and wait for them to focus down. Like, ay ay ay. Four. A, B, C, D, pick one. Pick one. Like, legit. I, I love this. Like, this This is this is the example. Like, you sometimes you got to literally tell people what to do. Pick one. Who do we go in on? I don't know. Pick a target. There's literally any one of them wouldn't have worked. The main problem is, all right, let me let me spell out. We don't win poke wars ever. So we need to 
either split or force engages with Leona. There is nothing else that works. If we are sitting there trying to trade... We will die every time. Guys, if what your team, if your team ain't doing what you need them to do to be successful, tell them what you need them to do. Don't sit there. Don't be passive, waiting to, to, for them to tell you what they're what you want them to do. Tell you to, you say what I need you guys to do is I need Leona to grow a pair and start contributing to the rest of the team fight. Someone ha someone has to answer Nasus. Be patient. Just, just, just wait. All right. Now, while they're in mid, and then I go quickly and I just clear the clear the shit out. Oh my goodness! There's Leona again. Leona can't, hasn't made a decision. Now she's gonna die. There's no way she survives. By the way. Mm mm. Just push. She's dead. That that is Leona screwing up again. All right, trying to get an idea where their wards are. I need this. It, I need this genius. Okay, never mind. They're not doing dragon, Baron. All right. Oh no, 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 no. Where, where's this Kate going? What are you doing? Oh my goodness, Kate talked shit and is getting hit. All right, I'm literally the only one who can outrun this enemy team. Like, see, even with their dash, I can just quickly outpace them. All right, now we have a problem because now they can force Baron. All right. All right, we have a smite for 720. So about 900 is when I want to go in. Now, well, now we just we gotta let either we poke him down or we we, we force the shit. No. All right. We're, we're buying time. And NASA's got a huge ass shutdown, so. Silver lining. There's another opportunity where Leona, baby girl, all you gotta do is just go in. Literally just go in. Pick a stinking target and go in. This Leona is not... She doesn't want to try win, does she, man? She's not... Yoink. And that, my friends, is how you steal a Baron. And that, my friends, is how you steal a Baron and throw the game entirely. So, for some reason, the Graves decided it'd be a smart idea to sit right next to me in my sma in flash range. I poked him down long enough that I knew I could one-shot him. The second I get on top of him. So, that's exactly what I did. And his teammates, not realizing this simple fact, let him do this by him himself. I one-shot him. They continue doing the Baron. I just, you know, secure it. <laughs> and just like that, we have complete momentum of the game. And oddly enough, I've never been a part of Elkasa's skills. Well, actually, he's only died once, so... Rip! I should have just. My, I should have just. Uh, should have done what that. What's that thing? Should have blade of the ruin king him. I needed that. Yeah, we're gonna deny this resource to the enemy team because screw you. That's why. Um, how much do I need for wit's end? 
Guys, mental note to meta, future meta, meta reviewing this video. Um, if I, I hope this guy realizes if I'm picking him, it's not for my health, man. But you're not the carry. You're not the carry. I'm literally gonna say, you're not the carry. You're not the carry. <laughs> I'm gonna just spell it out very politely. Just, you're not the carry. NASA's farm, TF farm. Get what you can, and focus. Get them back on the track. Get what you can and focus. Just relax. Yep, I don't care. Do it, do it, do it your ass, and not what, what you want to do, man. Do it your ass, buddy. Do it your ass. All right. So what we're gonna do here? We are going to just grab vision for our Nasus. I'm just a wee little Udia. Hi. Oh, she actually landed that. I'm not gonna be honest, guys. I had like no faith right there. Alright, there we go. That's more standard procedure. Alright, dodge that. Alright. Yeah, he has, um, I don't know what he has, but he's moving very, very fluidly. So we just, we don't, we don't want to screw with that too much, you know? Land a gold card and he dies. Alright. Never mind, I realize how, like, legit um I am. So we're going to, we're going to say we did and we're just, we're just not going to fight that, you know? Let's not and say we did. How about that, guys? I like that plan. Let's do that plan some more, shall we? All right, so we were able to drag a team unwillingly back to victory. And the K, who, while she whined all game, is being very functional. The Nasus that I had to have muted because he wouldn't realize the optimal play is now 4-3-8. and eight. I played to my win condition and kept that going. I know, I think we go ahead and unmute him. Let's, there you go, Henry the, I don't even know, what, what, what is that? The 19th, Henry the 19th? Hmm. Maybe the night. Maybe he's the 19th person named Henry in his, in his family line. And that's a dead. Nope, that's a dead. Um, Lux, right? <coughs> Kill secured. Rip. Oh, hey, look, that's a dead. Uh, connected. Oh wow, Leona, if you just just commit, don't be. Oh god, that's a dead me. Rip. I have face checked the bush, and it would not go out well. Instant karma, my friends. Instant karma. I don't even know why I did that. Like, legit, I literally don't know why I did that. Not a single excuse in my head that I can come up with there. I just simply stopped playing League of Legends for like two seconds. I need you all to just hover bot side. <laughs> don't fight them. Just threat inhib. Mid, mid is going to push in. Legit, as long as you stay outside of... They cannot force to win. And the... F Guys, remember I just said don't fight them? Look at this, this is the exact thing they did. But you know what? Not oh god, Nasus just ran him down. Oh. Well. Oh. Never mind. My Nasus is fed as fuck. Oh. Hey guys, while we're while I'm doing that, let's just let's just 
let's just watch what's going on here, shall we? You should sub and make sure to hit that like button to brighten up our day! Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. You can also click near me for YouTube suggestions. Or you can click near me for more me dear content. They come around for me. <laughs> Till next time, apprentices. Chowder! Chowder.